Oh hi, I didn't see you there. What am I doing right now? Oh, I'm just getting pissed off at mobile games. Come join me. Now, I think mobile games have and will always be a smart idea. Pretty much everybody has a phone, mobile games are easy to make, and get a community surrounding your game. Off the top of my head, I could already think of plenty of great mobile games. Games like Geometry Dash, Subway Surfers, Where's My Water, Cut the Rope, games like that. Those are all good games, but I think for the past couple of years, mobile games have just been declining in quality. And I could attribute three different things to the sudden drop of quality in mobile games over the past couple of years. So let's head on to number one. TOO SIMPLE! I think it's easy to say that mobile games need to be simple. I mean, you can't pull out your phone and play a game of Call of Duty. I uh, won't get to that. But you might be telling me right now, all those games you just mentioned earlier are very simple. What are you complaining about here? Well, I think I'm complaining about the fact that these games are just so simple that they can't be fun in any way. Let's take the game I've based my channel off of for the past 10 months, for example, Geometry Dash. Now, Geometry Dash is a very simple game whenever you look at it. I mean, you just tap the screen to make your character do something. Go switch gravity, jump, fly, all that sounds really simple. But the thing is that the game could also be very hard and give the player a challenge. That's what I think makes Geometry Dash so fun. It offers you a challenge, despite being so simple. Now here's a mobile game that I found that I think reflects the exact opposite of this. The game's called Arrowfest. All you play as is a singular arrow, and you gotta go through different barriers where they either add, subtract, or multiply your count of arrows. Then you have to shoot as many people at the end in order to get a high score. Now here's what I don't like about this game. This game can never offer you a challenge, no matter how much you played. There is absolutely no reason to not go through the doors that give you a higher arrow count. And it's not like there's a way for you to fail in the game and start a level over. If you just get a low amount of arrows, or even just one, that doesn't matter! Y you just hit one person at the end, and then you get a low score. Oh no, I have a low score! Man, I can't buy that cosmetic that's in the shop, it'll take me 6,000 more hours to get! And that brings me on to point two. TOO COMPLICATED! You might be telling me, oh, if you don't like games that are simple, then why don't you have a game that's complex? Here's the thing! I think mobile games should be something you just pull out on the bus stop. Hey, I have my phone on me. Why don't I attempt this level in Geometry Dash? Why don't I try to get a high score in Subway Surfers? Why don't I play a few games of Cut the Rope? Hell, even like, go through a few stages of Arrowfest. I don't care about that. But I don't think you'll ever have any time to just pull out your phone and play a match of Call of Duty. I always think that mobile games should just be easy pick up and play games. Like, oh, you're waiting for your dentist appointment? Why not pull out your phone and play a little bit of Jetpack Joyride? The only time I think I would ever pull out my phone to play Call of Duty Mobile or Mario Kart Mobile is if I knew I had free time on my hand. And the only time I know that I have any free time is whenever I'm at home. Whenever I already have things that will provide me with all the Call of Duty, all the Mario Kart I would ever want on a console. Now of course, I get it. If you do not have immediate access to an Xbox, a Playstation, or a Switch, then that's completely understandable and why you would rather play Call of Duty Mobile or Mario Kart Mobile. But if you do, WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! You have a much more superior way to play these games, but you would rather play it on your fucking phone for some reason! Now that I'm already pissed off, let's go on to the final reason of why I think mobile games have been sucking recently. Reason number three, no character at all. Games like Subway Surfers, Geometry Dash, Jetpack Joyride, you could instantly recognize any of these games because they have so much character, they have so much design, you could instantly recognize them. I'm gonna flash different characters from these games, and you gotta tell me who they are and where they're from. Do you recognize this guy? That's Jake from Subway Surfers, he's pretty much the default character, you all know him. And how about this guy? That's Barry Steak Fries from Jetpack Joyride. How about this one? That's Default Cube 2, everybody knows him. Now, I have to ask you, who's this? Come on, I'm waiting for an answer. Any game. Well, that's one of the dummies from Arrowfest. I'm sure half of you said something that wasn't even Arrowfest, and then the other half said nothing at all. 
And that's the thing. These games have no memorable characters. You, you can't look at something and recognize, oh yeah, that's from Arrowfest. That's from 3D Castle Fighters. That, no, it's all just like red and blue, red and blue dummies. Like what, who are these people supposed to be representing? Also, these games have zero settings at all. Let's take a look at the subway surfers. You're in a subway. That's why you're running from the cops. They caught you doing graffiti. How about Jetpack Joyride? You're just some businessman, and then you saw that they have a jetpack in a freaking facility. You break into the facility, you take that jetpack, and you start going on the joyride. Now, what about the settings for all these modern mobile games? White floor, like some weird color of a sky, and that's it. There's nothing else to these games. I'm like, oh yes, you're here, you're there. There's some type of point for the setting of these games. What is the point of these games? Why are these guys here? Why are these red and blue dummies here? Like, why? What is the point to all of these games? Are they just here to be bad? I think that's the reason. The only modern mobile games that have any type of setting to them are the games that already have existing IPs. The games that were just ported out to mobile. Like the Call of Duty Mobile or Minecraft Mobile. You can already understand because these things already exist. What about all these new ones? All these ones that are coming out right now. Oh no, you're just red and blue dummy. That's all you are, your arrow is flying in the sky, why are you flying in the sky, no purpose, why are you going through doors, don't know, you just are, and that's the reason why you hit all these games, you're just doing something, and that's it, there's nothing else to the game, there's no way the game can be fun, it's just an endless time waster. I don't know how to end this video, it was just me endlessly ranting about mobile games, thanks for watching, bye.